You know, like 5% or 4% of the population are redheads. I think 10% are gay. Can you imagine like 3% of the population were possessed by Satan? <laughs> like acclimated within our society like it was normal and they had rights. <laughs> Guys, do you smell that? Is that the copy machine? Or is it, the, is it the microwave in the break room? Would you shut up? That's Debbie in Human Resources, the one who's possessed by Satan. <laughs> Are you guys talking about me again? <laughs> no! Oh my God, no, no way, Debbie. You know, I have every right to be here as much as you. <laughs> uh, I totally. I totally don't want to work with her. Have you seen her eyes? And the way she stirs her coffee with her tongue. Listen, Linda, this is an all-inclusive environment. We don't discriminate by creed, color, or whatever those other things are that we're supposed to support or demonic possession. It is not her fault she came from the loins of the father of darkness. <laughs> God, whenever it rains, I always get in the mood for James Taylor and some gasoline. <laughs> look at like what we could possibly come back as like I don't want to come back as a, a cockroach or like a, a Japanese hornet it's it's frightening <laughs> and you see those shows on like Discovery Network and it's just it makes it look so after they mate the male is decapitated <laughs> the female will harbor the eggs she will crawl through lava until her skin is burned off <laughs> The eggs hatch, bringing new life. <laughs> they eat their mother's corpse and crawl towards the ocean where their chance of survival is zero percent. Uh, uh, uh. I just want to come back as a whiter version of this. Like Adam Levine, you know? with that family that could afford that nose job over spring break. Every kid I went to school with came back with either a tan or a little brace with cotton. I want that. Like a, like a grandmother with a cute little waist who leaves you with some property and a recipe for Apple Betty. Not what I got. I got a moose in a house dress who left me with restless leg syndrome and shingles. <laughs> there was this cute little girl this cute little thing she was handing out little cards going heaven or hell it's your choice heaven or hell heaven or hell it's your choice so I couldn't help myself when I walked by I went I have no feeling in my nipples. It's like I could totally have them removed. <laughs>